of Texaco. We work from Maine to Mexico. There's nothing like this Texaco of ours. Our show tonight is powerful. We'll wow you with an hour full of howls from a shower full of stars. We're the merry Texaco men. Tonight we may be showmen. Tomorrow we'll be servicing your cars. I wipe the pipe, I pump the gas, I rub the hub, I scrub the glass. I touch the clutch, I mop the top, I poke the choke, I sell the pop. I clear the gear, I flop the knock, I jack the back, I set the clock. So join the ranks of those who know and fill your tank with text of go. Sky Chief, fill up with Sky Chief, and you will smile at the pile of new miles you will add. Fire Chief, fill up with Fire Chief, you'll find the text that goes the finest friend your car has ever had. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing America's number one television star, your June bride, Mildred an elephant. <laughs> it, is, it is really a pledge. Don't I look adorable? Don't <laughs> See here now. Please, Zelda. You're just jealous because no one ever asked you. <laughs> I'm a June bride. Don't I look adorable? Really. <laughs> when you... Thank you, Zelda. When you got married, there weren't many calendars. I want to tell you... <laughs> look at that face on her. <laughs> Are you celebrating your golden wedding? You must be, because the guy with you looks like he's drinking it. Ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> this, I, this is a good crowd. <laughs> You're very wonderful, and let me know where you're working, so I'll go and laugh at you. <laughs> Before I go any further, the girl who catches the lucky bouquet is going to be the next bride. Mother, will you put down your hands? <laughs> Here we are right now! <laughs> that's a girl? <laughs> Madam, that's a good catch. <laughs> Don't you wish you were? I... <laughs> the reason I'm wearing this tonight, you see, Texaco figured that during the commercials, I would go out in the audience and mix. You know... <laughs> I have on a marriage girdle. I'm just itching to get out of it. <laughs> Are you sure Arlene Judge started this one? <laughs> Before I go any further, will all the married men in the audience stand up? All the married men, please. Come on, stand up. All the married men, stand up. You fools, you! That's what you are! I want to tell you that... I want to tell you marriage... Marriage helps the sale of Texaco. It really does, because when you're married, you wind up taking gas. I want you to know, here's a guy, here's a guy that got married in a garage and he couldn't back out. I'd like you to meet him, Alan Roth. Let's give a hand, Alan Roth. Yeah. All kidding aside, I want to say Alan is married 15 years today. How about that, ladies and gentlemen, 15 years. that you and Petrillo are very happy. I... <laughs> He's adorable. He's got the face of a boy. Really, yeah. You ought to give it back because you're getting a wrinkle. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'd like to introduce to you at this time a boy that's the star of our show tonight. He's going to start it off with a bang. It's a pleasure. He has his own show every Wednesday night. Bless him, one of the great comedians. He's killing the people right now. He has only nine more days to go at Bill Miller's Riviera. Let's get together, give a great reception to a great young comedian, great entertainer, Danny Thomas. Come on. You look oh. adorable, too. Well, oh, you look beautiful. Thank you. My <laughs> goodness gracious. Auntie Milky. I've... I'm not Auntie. I'm Unky. Oh, and you... you're such a, a fool, you all. <laughs> you all? <laughs> Isn't they wonderful? That you all is a cue for our first song. Let's go. Here's a 
true what they say about Dixie? Does the sun really shine all the time? Do the sweet magnolias blossom round everybody's door? Folks keep eating possum till they can't eat no more. And is it true what they say about Milty? Is his gag file 20 miles long? Is that box full of yaks 50 million strong? If it's true, that's where I belong. Is it true what they say about Dixie? Does the sun really shine all the time? Do the sweet magnolia blossom on everybody's door? And do folks keep eating possum till they can't eat no more? Is it true what they say about the swanee? Is the dream by the stream so sublime? And do they laugh? Do they laugh like they say in every song? If it's true, I Cause that's where we belong. I'm very, very thrilled they asked me to come. This is the craziest show, the most wonderful people in the audience. It's exciting, really, it is. It's wonderful. Especially being on with Milton Berle. You know, I've known Milton for many, many years, and I've never before appeared with him. Of course, I always watch his show, and he watches mine. But he watches my show more than I watch his, and he's got my jokes to prove it. <laughs> no, I'm really, I'm just kidding, really. Clearly, I have great respect for him. He's a tremendous artist. He's a hardworking man. He goes on every week. I do a show once a month, and believe me, it kills me. <laughs> this fella comes on once a week. How does he do it? And why does he do it? No, seriously, does he need it? He's loaded. <laughs> oh, loaded. This guy's got money he hasn't folded yet. <laughs> That's the truth. I don't know. I, I don't care. What did you want to do it for? I wouldn't go on every week. I'm telling you, if my sponsor insisted upon it, I wouldn't... Excuse me. Hello, this is Danny Thomas speaking. Thomas, this is one of your sponsors, Pet Milk. One of my sponsors, Pet Milk? That's oh, right. Yes, I'm watching the show. Oh, you're watching the show? Oh, just a minute, sir. You must have thought I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> Nature isn't always right, but pet milk is. <laughs> Sir, what were you saying? I'm enjoying the show very much, and it gave me an idea. What's that? Thomas, I want you to do what Burl does. Oh, I can't do what Burl does. I can't remember Bob Hope's jokes. <laughs> I'm not talking about jokes, Thomas. I want you to do the show every week. Every week? Oh, but sure, I couldn't. I every can't do a show week, every week. Just like Burl, I want you to do it. But I can't do a show every week. Well, listen, sir. You do it, Thomas, or you're through. Oh, please, wait a minute. But if I, but if you, but if I... <laughs> Young enough. Can't do it. I just can't do a show every week. What do you think I am, Superman? I won't do it. I won't do it, I tell you. I'm too young to die. <laughs> I'm only 23. <laughs> All right, so I'm 24. <laughs> How can I do it? Go on every week. Where am I going to get the material, the jokes? I know. I'll ask Milton. Sure, I'll go to his house. Oh, no, I hate to barge in on him. He's such a quiet, unassuming man who lives a normal life. No, he does, really. And he lives in, a, in an inconspicuous little cottage somewhere in Long Island. Red Skelp, who are you listening to? Jack Benny. Who are you listening to? Dagmar. Uh, Dagmar? What can you get from her? Are you kidding? Quiet! <laughs> Switch over to Durante. Switch over quick. Turn it around to Durante. You're all bad boys. I'll transfer you to the Jack Carter Show. Whoa! 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 
Where's my butler? Butler! Butler! Where are you? <laughs> yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. My landlord. Oh, quiet now. <laughs> Where have you been? I've been rehearsing my song for next week, sir. Your song? What song are you singing next week? The, uh, Levine and Rose. Levine and... <laughs> you, mean, you mean Levine and Rose. Levine and Rose. Molly and Jake. Jake and Molly. All I know, they live in the Bronx. Oh, quiet now. <laughs> You're such a fool, you understand? Did my money come from the Texaco company yet? The man's here with your money. Right, right this way. Sir. Right here! <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. All this for Uncle Milty. <laughs> oh, all this for Uncle Sam. <laughs> Answer the door, answer the door. Why, what did it say? Not why, what did it say? How do you make it simmer? You're crazy, right? Ah, I'll right? make a federal case out of yeah. it. Yeah? And away I go. I think I'll go this way this week because I think it's a little cooler. <laughs> <laughs> There's the buzzer, I'll answer the door. Why, it's Danny Thomas, my best friend. Milton Burl, my best friend. Danny Thomas, a great comedian. Milton Burl. <laughs> <laughs> What happened to the rest of the sentence? <laughs> Danny, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. It's been about five years. Five I years. Sure I haven't seen you in five years, Milton. Let me take a good look at you. Yes, sir, one good look. <laughs> that ought to last me for another five years. Quiet now! <laughs> Danny, it's good to see you. Before... <laughs> Is that a woman laughing? That's my mother. She's practicing for oh. next week. <laughs> Before I go any further, Danny, I'd like you to meet my writer. Oh? My writers, boys, to. come over here, and I'd like you to say hello to Danny. <laughs> I thought they sold the Empire State Building. <laughs> no, this is this is my writer, and this, this, boys, I want you to write that down. Did you hear that? The show the Empire, remember it. Write it down. Right. Boys, I want you to meet Danny Thomas. I was... Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't you write that down. That's my joke. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Boys, you... Hey, you. Come over here, you. I never saw your face before. Where'd you come from? I don't know from nothing. Your brother Frank hired me. Get out of here now. <laughs> yes, Get into the dungeon. Yes, Get into the dungeon. Yes, Open that dungeon. Pull it open. Pull it open. I said, Get in. <laughs> That's my writers, Danny. That's my writers. I want to ask you something, Danny. What are you doing out in these parts? What do you want around well, here? Well, I'll tell you, Milton, I came to see you. I, I got a call from my sponsor. Let me understand this. Uh, Your sponsor called you on the telephone? Yeah. That's a surprise because I've been working for Texaco for three years and I haven't heard anything funny from my sponsor. That's, that, that's funny, isn't Maybe it? Maybe it's because your sponsor hasn't heard anything funny from you. I was... <laughs> <laughs> Write that down. Write that down. My right is, my right is in that. Danny, all, all kidding aside, what can I do for you, Danny? Look, huh? Milton, my sponsor insists that I go on every week like you do. On the radio, on and the television. I, yeah, and okay. I just can't do it. I mean, the, the way you do things, is you've been such a big success, you go on every week. As a matter of fact, yeah. your being on every week has helped sell millions of sets. Thank you very much. I know, because I sold my set, my brother sold his set. <laughs> My sister in Toledo. Yeah, all right. Oh, in Toledo. Yeah. Toledo! <laughs> We're strong for it. Now, please. <laughs> please, will you do me a favor? Right. You, well, what do you want? You want to know how to get on television yeah. and do the show every week? I would like the material. In the first, the material's very easy. Easy thing in the world. The first thing is your appearance. Your appearance, your nose is too big for eight inch screens. <laughs> oh, you should thought. This is your old one. Now, stop it now! <laughs> Then you want me to help you? Yeah. Your physical condition, you, you are not in physical... Are you in shape? I don't know. I... <laughs> You're not in shape, but take off your clothes. I want to uh, examine you. Take what? off your clothes. Oh, I couldn't take I off my clothes. Take off your clothes. Well, oh, no, Milton, wait a minute. Take off your... There's some strange cameras here. Milton, take what's the matter with oh, you? you want to no. take off your clothes? Oh, you're crazy. Pull I off your pants. Sit down. Sit down. There, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Is that a body? Is that a body? That's what I'm asking. Is that a body? <laughs> I've seen better bodies on a used car lot. <laughs> Wait a minute, Milton. What? That was cruel. Old cars never die. They just trade away. <laughs> hey, that's very, very great. Hey, hey. Write that down. Write that down. Now, in the first place, Danny, you've got to be in physical shape. Yeah. And I don't think you're in physical shape. Now, to do a television show every week, you've got to be strong. Yeah. In the first place, you've got you to skip rope. All this one skip, show a week? One show a week, you've got to skip rope. I have to? 
that skip now. That's one key, one key. Two key. That's enough. That's but fine. But your carpet fire is up to my toes. Yeah, your pants is falling down to your knees. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> now, I'll tell you another thing. you got a box and keep in condition if you want to go on television every week. I got... Bring in the box and gloves. What are you just for doing Marco, one bring show in the, a week? One show a week. Put on the box and gloves. What are you doing? Put on the gloves. It's a serious thing. That's perfectly all right. We'll put you in shape. No, I couldn't do it. That's perfect. Get the glove on. Now I got a man to train you. He's a kid. 112 pounds. Okay. Bring in the bring in the sparring partner. Here's what I want you to do. Here's your sparring partner. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You go ahead. That ain't a man. That's a man. That kid in here. Fight that boy. I don't want to fight that boy. Fight that boy. I don't want to fight that boy. Fight him. Oh, I got it. <laughs> this draw. That's all. <laughs> fight, fight him. 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 Fight I thought I told you to wait in the car. I'm sorry, Dad. Did I? <laughs> right. I want to... Oh, oh, pardon me. Somebody's on the phone. Hello? What? There's a fellow's watching the show. He says that you're a weakling. He can knock you out over the phone. <laughs> he can do what? I said he said he can knock you out over the phone. Let me talk to this guy. Talk to him. You what? You're going to punch who in the nose. I'd like to see you do it. <laughs> now you see, Danny, that's to you. If you want to do this every week, you've got to be in physical. But this is silly. All I want is the material, the sketches. The material, the sketches? I've got to... Writers, come out here, quick. Bring out the material. You Please, know this. Nothing know this. physical. Nothing? Don't worry about the scene we stole from Eddie Peabody. Remember that scene? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, this is scene. This scene. This scene. <laughs> This will be on his show. <laughs> this scene is a wonderful scene. Now, you want to be on television? I got all the material in the world. Look at all those writers. There's the Slate Brothers laying off. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Want to show you something? This is a prisoner scene. Yeah. You're a prisoner. Yeah. Bring in the prisoner's outfit. Help with the prisoner's outfit. It's a wonderful scene. That's it. Now, there. Fine. You're in solitary confinement. Bring over the chair. He's sitting all in the cell. All this just to do a show? Bring over the chair. All Bring this over. for one show? All please. this for one show. This is a wonderful scene. A wonderful scene. Now, I, I want you to listen to the scene. Yeah. It's a wonderful scene. They've got you under arrest for murder. Yeah. And they've got you in solitary confinement. Yeah. Nothing to eat but bread and water. Bread Bring water. in the bread and water. Bread and water. Bread and water. You're That's sick. Off. You're sick. Here's the Bread. Wait, wait. Now, here's the scene. It's a wonderful okay, scene. Something. You do get in the water and you put it in your mouth. Put it in Oh, now I know why Robert Alda likes to work for me. <laughs> put it in your mouth. There. There. <laughs> now stop it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Now understand? You're in the prison. Yeah. The prison gets too tough for you, and you start to escape. Yeah. And three days later, you're found walking through an apple orchard. Yeah. You understand? And you're hungry. You haven't eaten in years. You understand? Yeah. You haven't eaten three years. You see the apples on the apple tree, yeah. and you shake the tree. Yeah. Shake the apple tree. Shake the apple tree. What apple tree? There's an apple tree there. There ain't no apple tree. Shake the apple tree, I oh, said. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, another thing. You're escaping, but they got the bloodhounds after you. The blood Bring in the bloodhounds. Bring in the bloodhounds. Get out of here with the bloodhounds. They're chihuahuas. Okay, here we go. All right, now, how do you understand? You want to go on television every week? Yeah. You do, huh? Yeah, but do you have to do it like this? This, yes, but there's one important thing I must tell you. Uh, must tell you, Danny, you've got to have gimmicks. Oh, well, gimmicks. Uh, gimmicks, running gags that you've got to do every week. Ain't like, not? Like the seltzer bit. Oh, no, no seltzer. Yeah, the seltzer oh, bit. Oh, please, no. You take the seltzer no, 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 no. In the face. Oh, no, Milton. You gotta no do pie. Yes. Oh, no, Milton. And last but not least, you gotta do the makeup bit. The what, man? The makeup bit. The makeup? Makeup! to do it once a week, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, it's... Wait till I pick up the bananas, please. What'd you say? Throw them? Well, let's throw them. All right. Now, 
please. That's the old skin game. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I would like to introduce to you at this time one of the great, one of the great delineators of songs. You've heard so many of her recordings. My pleasure to present to you one of the tops. In fact, the top, I think, the top singer we have today on records and in nightclubs. Pleasure to present to you Miss Fran Warren, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Birdies in the trees, tweet, tweet, singing that sweet melody. And if you want to know what they're chirping about, well, then listen and find out. Whoa, 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 whoa. When my sugar walks down the street, all the birdies go tweet, tweet, tweet. And in the evening when the sun goes down, he's always around. It's a pleasure and nothing but when my daddy begins to strut. The thrill go down my spine Cause he's mine Ouch! Now did you ever see such class? Let him pass It's no wonder those clever birds Look at him and sweet, sweet When my daddy walks down the street Whoa, 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 whoa When my daddy walks down the street All the birdies go tweet, tweet, tweet And in the evening when the sun goes down He's always and nothing but when my daddy begins to strut out I felt the thrill go down my spine cause he's mine out now did you ever see such class let him pass it's no wonder those clever birds look at him and tweet tweet when my daddy runs down Thank <laughs> you. 
Gotkas are falling. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you, Eddie Hanley and Bobby Gordon. Ladies and gentlemen, now I want you to meet a young fellow you'll ever see on any street corner in the United States. Sit Stone, here he is. <laughs> Friends, just a minute. Through the courtesy and kind permission of the Texas Company, I'm going to offer at this particular time the latest sit-stone, two-tone harmonica. Now, with my little instruction book, friends, in only ten minutes, you can play such difficult tunes on a harmonica like Pop Goes the Weasel, Coming Through the Rye, and Home Sweet Home. Now, friends, I just got the shipment the other day from overseas, Hoboken, and already I've mastered three or four melodies. For example, melody number one, Home Sweet Home. <laughs> What'd you expect, Boraminovich? <laughs> home sweet home. What do you think of it, friend? <laughs> what do you expect? I ain't been home in nine years. <laughs> Number two, friends, the old her favorite tune of the Southland, my old Kentucky home. to warm the cockles of the old man's heart. <laughs> I guess he's a little over-emotional. Uh, pardon me, sir, but are you a Kentuckian? A Kentuckian, and he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> I could have sworn I'd seen that guy play at some bar mitzvah. Now, friend, I'm going to tell you what else I'm going to do for you, friends. With every harmonic, I'm going to throw in one of my French horns. And that's great for you motors that are stuck on a road miles away from civilization. Because all you got to do, friends, if you run out of gas, is play a couple of notes like this. And immediately, one of our Texaco dealers comes right to your rescue. Or even better than that, take out the amateur of the mouthpiece, friends, and you'll find an emergency supply of Sky Chief gasoline. Yes, Sandini, friends, that's the gasoline with volatile control. That's the gasoline with a punch. Now, friends, I'm going to give you an even shake. I ain't going to pull the wool over your rags and tell you only one drop of sky cheap is going to take you from coast to coast. I'm going to level for your friends and really tell you the truth. Yes, Sandini, friends, when I tell you that a tank full of sky cheap will give you more mileage per gallon, more power per gallon, more pep and ginger, I want you to believe me. Yes, indeed, friends, more than you ever thought you can get with any gasoline. All the power, all the zip, and all the push with no knock or ping in your mouth. So be sure up with Sky Chief gasoline, friends. That's the gasoline with a punch. All right, you're not satisfied. You want more for your money? Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw in for the first and only time the Sid Stone hair color. Now, friends, this wonderful little magical melody, friends, is guaranteed to do a lot for you. It's going to get rid of your gray hair and make you look a lot younger. Yes, indeedy, friends, remember only one thing. A man is only as old as he looks. And when he stops looking, he's old. <laughs> now, friends, I'll tell you what else I want to do. If there's anybody here with gray hair, I'm going to give you a treatment absolutely free. <laughs> Just a minute, Pascal. What's the idea with the red lamp? Ah, uh, some fool left it in the middle of the street, right in front of a big hole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when the human race went to the post, this guy was scratched. Now, look, you take off your hat if you don't mind. That's yeah. fine. How old are you, kid? <laughs> there goes the punchline for sure. <laughs> Quill must have fixed that for me. Uh, tell me, kid, how old are you? Twenty-three. And you're gray already? Mm-hmm. Uh, you're not in television, are you, kid? Uh, well, what's your racket? No, I'm just a guy trying to make an honest living. Well, don't worry, kid. You ain't got much competition. Now, I'm going to give you a little treatment absolutely free of charm. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I'm a little afraid. What are you afraid of? You know, I never had a treatment before. What's the difference, kid? We're both taking the same chance. I never give one before. Now, step in the office. That's fine. Yeah. Now, to get rid of the gray hands, you take the brush, just dip it into the store, magic hand, and turn your head on the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. Jump down like that, friends. Ain't that a wonderful job? That gets rid of all the gray, and the hair is all one color now. You hey. look beautiful, kid. Hey, you mind if I look? Not at all, kid. You're entitled to that. Yeah. There's the mirror. Go yeah, ahead. I never no, you don't look like that. I'll tell you when to look. Hold it just a second. Get the focus. Now you look. Hey, that's okay. You know something? He likes that. Yeah, I, I look 20 years younger. You do, kid. Yeah. Don't forget when you go home, get your working paper. Now, uh, let me just put a towel around your head, kid. Yeah. That won't hurt. Just like that. That'll yeah. dry the sun. Yeah. Now, uh, what do you think is better, the long hair or the short hair? 
Well, that's a matter of opinion. That is a matter of opinion, but it's a fact, kid, that when you want your engine to stay young and act young, custom-made Haviland motor oil is the best motor oil that your money can buy. Say, this Haviland is pretty good, huh? It's pretty good, kid. It's terrific. And I'm going to tell you exactly why it's terrific. Because custom-made Haviland is so terrific, friends, it even exceeds heavy-duty requirements for oils used in trucks, buses, and giant bulldozers. In fact, when it was tested against many premium motor oils, friends, Haviland showed up to be twice as tough. Actually, cut engine wear in half. Yes, indeedy, friends, Haviland proved that it helps you get better gasoline mileage because it keeps your engine cleaner a lot longer. And it saves you dough because it cuts down on repair bills. That's custom-made Haviland motor oil, friends. The best motor oil that your money can buy. Remember the name, friends, custom-made Haviland motor oil. Yeah. Now, let's get back to the other side of the head. Yeah, now, hey, what? hey, wait a minute. How long will it take? About 45 minutes. Sorry, but I can't wait. I'll call for it later. <laughs> they saw that already. Are you kidding? Come on. I swear, I swear I did, I didn't do that. Oh, I did. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure. Tonight, the Texaco Star Theater presents uh, another first in a remarkable talent or array of stars, ladies and gentlemen, a young virtuoso of the violin whose magic fingers, whose magic fingers have caused quite a sensation in the great, great circles of the musical world. Ladies and gentlemen, it's with a great deal of pleasure that I present to you a very wonderful, wonderful young violinist from the concert stage, 15-year-old Michael Raven, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you really were, wasn't he thrilling? Tell the truth. Really, wasn't he wonderful? 15 years old. <laughs> Michael, 
Michael, I like to say that I think you're one of the finest violinists that I've ever heard. I really mean that sincerely. Milton. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me for interrupting, but I, I just had to come out to congratulate this young man. Yeah. You're wonderful. Isn't he wonderful? Very thrilling. I'm very, very happy. Alone. Honestly, I was standing in the wings, and every note just thrilled me. Young fella, a young guy, but you're a genius, believe me. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Don't thank me. <laughs> thank Mr. Burl. He's the one who gave her the opportunity to appear here. Well, let me tell you something, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is really, this is really one of the great wonders of show business, and I believe that that young Michael Raven has a great future. How you about it, it ladies and gentlemen? Michael Raven. Well, you know, I've been watching Milton the Texaco Star Theater from the very beginning. And I have seen great young stars born right here on this stage. But the thing that impressed me most about your shows yeah. is that it's not just a showcase for talent. It's a showcase for democracy. Well, what do you mean, Danny? Well, let me put it this way, Milton. In the past three years, the great performers who have appeared here in the Texaco Star Theater have represented a cross-section of the world. Gee, I mean, I Italians, have... Spaniards, Australians, the white man, the Negro, the Oriental, the Protestant, the Catholic, the Jew, They've all shared the spotlight on this stage. Well, Danny, uh, if I may inject, I, I, that's the way show business operates. Danny, there's no room for prejudice in our profession. We entertain his rate of brother actor by his colorful performance, not by the color of his skin. Yes, and there's... While we're on the subject and show business is about to take a bow, let's also inject that we in show business cannot tolerate intolerance. Well, throughout the years, Danny, the world of the theater has presented a united front against bigotry. A, a United, united Nations, Nations of, of Show Business. business. The United Nations of Show Business is now in session. United Nations of Show Business, today's session is now in order. The chair recognizes the delegation from the continent of South America, the Honorable Senor Carlos Ramirez and his dancing senoritas.
Granova, tierra soñada por mí. Mi cantar se vuelve gitano cuando es para ti. Mi canto. recognizes the delegation from the continent of Africa, the Honorable Harold and Lola.
recognizes the delegate from the continent of Europe, the Honorable Miss Vivian Delegiesa. Chair recognizes the delegation from the continent of Asia, the Honorable Beatrice Kraft and her Oriental dancers. Thank you. 
recognizes the delegation from the continent of North America, the Honorable Danny Thomas and the Honorable Milton Berle. and worthy delegates to the United Nations of Show Business. The entertainers of America are firm in the belief that a happy nation is a strong nation. And to that end, we have tried to the best of our ability to keep America laughing, singing, and dancing. You can't frown at anyone while you're laughing. Yes, and you can't shout at anyone while you're singing. And you can't kick anyone while you're dancing. We entertainers of America are deeply grateful for the opportunity our country has given us. A country that knows no barrier of race or of creed. A country whose sons and daughters are free to choose their own profession and to follow it as far as their talents can take them. All the goodly things there are on earth that were handed down to us at birth, let's hold on to them for all we're worth and let us pray they remain that way. A free school for the kiddies, no matter who they are, with plenty in the pantry and jam in every jar. We own these precious things today. Let's keep it that way. There's a crowded beach on Sunday, a sandwich full of sand, with Junior making mud pies and a shovel in each hand. We own these precious things today. Let's keep them that way. Suppose your ball team loses. It's not a total loss. Why, you can yell your lungs out while you're sitting there right next to your boss. Each Saturday is payday, and Sunday we relax. And it's great to have an income that Uncle Sam can tax. We own these precious things today. Let's, Let's keep it that way. Suppose you're not a big shot. That columns like to quote. Suppose you're just a small shot. But you look mighty big with that boat. You bet. The faith that you believe in is only your affair. And if we have this freedom, it answers every prayer. We only I want to thank Danny Thomas for jumping in tonight and at a short, short notice for our very beloved Eddie Camp, who was supposed to be on the show tonight. Eddie's ill, but we hope, Eddie, that you will get better shortly. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for being such a very, very wonderful audience. And remember, when you, uh, if you like our show, remember to go Texaco. And before I leave, I want to say to my little nephews and nieces just a few words of advice. When you're choosing up a team just before you play the game, never choose a player by his race or name. What's the difference if he's poor? What's the difference if he's rich? The only thing to ask him is can he pitch? Here's the boys. Ending and we thank you for attending, but before we reach the ending, may we add, remember to be loyal to our gasoline and oil, when they save you time and toil, you'll be glad, now the clock is striking nine up, but just before we sign up, remember Tuesdays on television, Milton Burl, presented by your Texaco dealer, the best friend your car has ever had. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Thank you very much for inviting me into your living room because every Tuesday night for the past seven seasons, there's been no greater pleasure for me than to come into your living room. 
And once again, it's a great pleasure for me to be in your living room every yeah. Tuesday night. <laughs> Not in our living room. What's he so mad about? Well, let's get the show off on the right foot. Huh?